Well, it says we're live. Give us one second to check sound, brother. Yes. Yeah, I guess it is. It does say we're live on my end, too. It's at least 35 yeah. seconds, it seems. Uh, okay. We're going to press. We sound. We're going to press, man. Folks yeah. that are watching the channel now or later, man, 2024, watching some of the, the freight rates I've seen and people going through the chaos of trying to make a living in trucking right now. One of the things I've always been a big proponent on is getting all your endorsements coming out of CDL school, be able to do everything. Get your Twit card, get your hazmat, get your tanker, get your doubles, your triples, get them all. Get a passport. <laughs> get a passport and give yourself the options. This gentleman we have on the stream tonight with us, Anthony, you want to say hello, brother? Uh, hi, guys. What's going on? <laughs> You are you are not a stranger to my channel. What's it been? Four uh, no, five years now. Uh, yeah, we, four, five. Uh, well, five years now we know each other. Wow, the time yeah. really passes. Yeah. So <laughs> give give them a quick synopsis because you're a tanker driver. You're driving for Quality Carriers, by the way, folks. Quality Carriers. The links in the description. Anthony's yes, yes. driver code is in the description. If you're looking to make some steady good money. But there's always a catch. There's always a catch about making steady good money, and we're going to talk about that. So, Anthony, give them a quick synopsis of you, man, and what you like, what you did up to truck driving, or up to up to uh, tanker driving. I did, well, I, I started off doing drive van, believe it or not, uh, with CRST, and then I switched over to uh, tanker with uh, quality, with um, uh, slate transportation. So I, I did most of my tanker with them. I left them there a few years back, joined the, uh, went into the oil field, spent a year in the oil field, and that's when you and I linked up, all right? And then from there, I came on board with QC. Uh, and uh, for those who don't know, QC is, is now owned by CSX. So QC is a su subsidiary of the railroad uh, company, CSX. Yes, big, huge, huge outfit. I, di I didn't know that. I didn't know uh, that. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, we well, got bought up about two years ago. Yes. You you always come on my channel whenever you're on the channel. You're always super upbeat. You're always talking about you know how to stay fit, how to eat well. Like you have that lifestyle that really you maximize your time alone. You're not just wasting your time. You're you're eating right, living right, being right, thinking right, and also running right to make money. Um, give them give the folks out there that might be thinking about truck driving or they're thinking about making a switch because they're doing dry van reef or whatever's not working for them. If they want to come run tanker, which I did very well doing tanker, what are the negatives? What are the positives? Uh, the, the, the positive is what I like with uh, tank as opposed to uh, dry van. With tanks, there's not much delays when you get to the customer. You know, with dry van, sometimes you may have to sit there for a day or so waiting to pick up or drop off as the case may be. With tanks, it's, it's not that bad. You're pretty much in and out. You do get some delays, but for the most part, you're in and out. Uh, uh, with tanks, you know, like like the, like anything else in the industry, it has its up time, up and ups and downs. But uh, I do solo, which is perfect for me. I, I love doing solo. Um, uh, some people do run teams. Uh, we have we have husband and wife and boyfriend and girlfriends here that run teams, right? Not bad. Okay, but um, uh, downside uh, downside with with, with, the, with trucking in general, in order to make money, you got to be out here running running the streets. If you want to go home, you know, after five days of work and, you know, be off for the weekends, yeah, you may not make that much money. All right. Um, there's different aspects to it. You have uh, local, you have regional, you have uh, OTR. I like OTR because OTR is what pays the money. So th that's what I do. And I run it all the time. I love it. You know, it's perfect for me. It may and not be for up, everybody. <laughs> yes. You go up into uh, Canada quite a bit, don't you? I do, I do. So I have my passport. I do have my passport card. That's all you need is a passport card. And you, you know, when you get to the border, you swipe that and you keep on going. Yes, mm -hmm. but I do go. I do go to Canada a lot. Yeah, and and Hurricane Hurricane has all her endorsements. She's got everything plus a Twig plus the uh, the yes. passport. But all the people yes. I would talk to, I would tell you if you're thinking about tanker driving, number one, if you don't have any experience, let's talk about this. What qualifications does quality carriers have? And again, folks that are watching, the links are in the description of the video, plus Anthony's name and his driver's code. It'd be nice, by the way, you guys watching him now or later, walk over and smash that like button. With the hurricane force? With your hurricane force. Absolutely. <laughs> what, what qualifications does QC have? 
All right, they would like you to have all the endorsements. They would like you to have uh, your trick card, uh, um, uh, passport, passport card also. But they would also like you to have two years' experience. Okay. All right, if you have, if, if you, you know, if you have, uh, you know, a year and a half, uh, uh, give it six more months, and then, you know, uh, give them a call. Do you mean two years' experience in tanker or two years' experience driving? Two years' experience driving. Uh, okay, if you so don't have, if you don't have a tanker experience, now, whether you have tanker experience or not, everyone who joins QC must go through orientation period. There's a two-week orientation period where, the, uh, whether you know it or not, they will put you through the paces so that you will understand. Even me, I had to go through the process, even though I came in with about, uh, what, 13, 14 years experience. They, I had to go through the training because they wanted me to do it the way they wanted me to do it. Right. Okay? So, yeah, so whether you have the experience or not, they will train you. And they will teach you their way so you can do it their way. Uh, when you go to the customer, you want, they want you to represent uh, QC uh, in, a certain, in a certain manner. Right. Okay. And, right. and please, if, you, if you're going to join the company, uh, uh, c join the company with a, uh, with a positive attitude. Oh, I agree, man. I agree. People that have a sour yeah. attitude, normally yeah. their life is sour. <laughs> I, I don't, yeah, I don't had... know how people walk around being all negative all the time. Yes, yes. Please come up with a positive attitude. We've had some negative uh, individuals in the past, and I don't think they're with us anymore. Mm. All right, but please let come me, up with a positive attitude. Let me say this to the folks that are watching now or later. Uh, I will say this to the folks that are thinking about getting in the tanker driving. You've never done it before. It's not. It's nothing like, other than handling the tractor trailer, which is kind of the same, but it is a little bit different with the tanker attached and depending on whether you have baffles or not in the tank. And, you know, you do have to be a little bit more cautious. But the biggest difference is you're going to be out of the truck for loading and unloading. And you're watched. Like, you're if you if you have a spill, it's a major problem. Because I know you're pulling hazmat tanker as well, right, Anthony? Yes, yes, yes. Most, yeah, most of the hazmat, most of the tanker jobs, I believe, in QC are hazmat, aren't they? Yes. Absolutely, we do. We do a lot of hazmat, and we do some really, really nasty stuff. <laughs> yeah, and if you have a spill at the shipper or receiver, it's a big deal. Like even it, it in the is. oil field, it and is. you and I, you and I talked about that. This yeah. in the oil field, Absolutely. even in the oil field, if you had a spill on the pad at night at two in the morning, and you left, oh. you left one or two puddles that were, you know, eight inches across. The next morning, yeah. you were getting a call. Like they're going to pull the footage up and see who spilled that little eight, eight inch, you know. Circumference. Uh, absolutely. They they don't play. Yeah. They don't play. Much less yeah. having a big spill. So I know every company you go to, they have uh, they have cameras everywhere. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, one thing I want your audience to keep in mind: after 9/11, the trucking industry is is now under um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, national security. Is okay. okay. Yep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah the, the trucking industry that we fall we fall under uh, national security. And uh, we are um, uh, so so we are monitored closely, mm. right? Yeah. And because uh, yeah, we all we have safety meeting every week. Uh, we'll come, every week we have safety meeting. We, we discuss safety, safety, safety. And not only with uh, what we're doing here, but also keeping our eyes on the streets. Uh, you know, keeping your eyes on people around the equipment, what have you. Keeping an eye on whether you're being followed or what have you. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so so national security is a is a big big deal here. Yeah. <clears throat> well. Give give them an idea, and I appreciate again, Anthony. I know you're on your 34 up in North Carolina, but I appreciate you making a minute to do this stream. Give the folks watching number one: how can they reach you? How can they reach out and talk to you one on one? Get away from YouTube and get some real, you know, 411 about the company. Well, if you could uh, email me, uh, my my name Anthony uh, Otley O. Yeah. yeah, Anthony Otley O T T L E Y, number nine six two at gmail.com. Just shoot me an email and uh, we can link up here. I'll, you know, I'll give you more information and, uh, you know, I, I, and I'll encourage you, you know, uh, it's, it's not a bad move. You know, it's, it's a good place, you know, to make a good living and, uh, you know, and uh, just overall, you know, um, a great company to work for. Let her read that back to you real quick. You want to well, read that actually, back to you? Actually, you might want to tell me one more time, just to make sure. Anthony uh, Otley, uh, 965. Uh, yeah, at, at nine six. Let me, let me, let me spell it out. Anthony A N T H O N Y, Otley O T T L E Y, number nine six two at gmail.com. Yes. 
right. but not but not the number sign, just the numbers nine six two. Yeah, 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 the number nine six two. Yes. Okay. So reach right. out to Anthony. The link's in the description. If you end up joining the company, put the put his driver code in. Doesn't cost you a penny. I would just tell all you folks out there, this is going to get worse. Whatever's whatever's about to happen is going to get worse. Now they're saying, you know, I told you last night on last night's stream that uh, that uh, Ray with the FBI said there's going to be, you know, a Chinese taking out the infrastructure attack. Don't worry about who's doing it. Just know it's coming because all that misdirection doesn't matter. But truck drivers are going to still be the lifeblood of this country truck drivers and the railroad, but the railroad, they're not going to, they're not going to replace us. And, and electric vehicles are not going to replace us anytime soon. People that are out there that have never made good money. It's, it's, it's only one of two reasons. Either you haven't been trained or you don't have any interest in working period. And that's going to hurt some people's feelings, but either you haven't been trained on how to think and move through life and speak to people and how to how to execute when you're W-O-R-K, when you're at work, or you just don't care and you don't care about making money. You want to live the life of let's do illegal stuff and hope we don't get busted. I, I just I just know that trucking has, has done very well for us yes. up until this whole health event. And it gave us a chance to really stack a lot of cash living out of the tractor. I didn't know, by the way, Anthony, I didn't know that teams could run tankers. Because um, oh, yeah. it oh, yeah. has matched. Yeah, yeah, we have a husband, we have husband and wife that runs team here. Uh, I, I think, I think the wife got her own truck now. But I remember when they first came on board, they were running teams. Can one be inside the cab while you're pumping? You know, or uh, yes. loading or offloading? Loading, offloading? Well, well, it, it, it all depends on the cu- on the customer's uh, policy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, you know, when, when you get there, you find what the policy are and you just follow it. Yeah. Okay. But I, I right. tell, I tell you what, uh, getting my class A license, best move I ever made. When I worked at the warehouse, I was making about thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars a year. When I got my class A license, within a year's time, my my, my salary with my annual income jumped to fifty thousand, and then sixty, seventy, and it just kept going up. Okay, now it's over six digits. I can't complain. No, best move I ever made. Well, all the folks who talk to me, man, all this stuff with DEI and all the crap happening with with companies and how they look at people. I just enjoy the fact that truck driving really the people that succeed are the ones that run and hustle and, and, and talk right, speak right, think right. And it doesn't matter what color skin, what age, what sex, what nationality. If you have, if you meet those criteria, you're going to make money in truck driving. Mm-hmm. If you don't Absolutely. make money in truck driving, you probably have a fault with some of those things I just mentioned. And I, I'm going to stick to that for the day I die, which might be next week. I, 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 tell, I tell you what, Red, I keep my eyes on my business. I mind my business. When you mind your business, things are going to work out. So I don't fo- all the other stuff that happens outside here that's out of my control. I don't focus on those things. I yeah. focus on what I have control of, and I have control over the steering wheel here. Okay, yeah. and I make use of it. I, I, I run the hell out of these tires here, Rob. Uh, I, I know you regret. do. <laughs> I know you do. And let me say, let me say to the people, let me say to the people watching. Yes, you can go back on our channel. You can go back and find interviews with Anthony. You know, five years ago, six years ago, he's always the same upbeat. Anthony, I've never called you, and I hope you've never called me. And we've just sat on the phone and just complained about things or people or or anything. We we talk about business and about making money and health. You know, and it's not a it's not a kumbaya moment. It's just two guys that all I know to do is look at all the positives in my life every day, and just keep on getting more and more thankful for everything i've got and you're the same way man you're just you're always at a level of what's going right what's going good how can i eat better how can i operate better how can i think better all of that's how you move through life too and this girl is exactly the same Mm -hmm. yeah which is which is well that's why you're making money man that's why you're making money and your son sees uh, that your son sees that and he he knows you know and you know what I, I do work for other other terminals because sometimes my terminal might be a little slow. So depending on where I'm at, we reach out to our terminal close to me. Hey, you got to work for Anthony here. And I've gotten to know some people from other terminals uh, like Cincinnati and a few, LA and a few other terminals. And they like my work ethic. And they would always call my company. Hey, listen, you know, uh, you want to come work for this company? I said, uh, for this uh, terminal? I said, well, talk to my terminal manager. If they said, okay, no problem. But they're not going to say, okay. 
All right, because they don't want to let me go. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making that money. I'm running. Okay. Hey, I want to add, All right, uh, this is cute. Uh, Life and Trucking says, I met him, met, I met Anthony today at the QC in North Carolina. Was that the guy North that you sent me a picture of? Uh, no, the, 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 the gal that I sent you there, uh, uh, she reached out to me yesterday. And I, I reached back and I sent her my phone number. I said, hey, give me a call. Not knowing that she was at the facility here training. So I got up this morning to go inside to get the, uh, the cutoff valve for one of the trailers. Uh, I usually keep extra in the, tr in the truck with me for emergency purposes. We have a little bag here, you know, but uh, emergency supplies. And I, I, I walked to the office with him. And said, Anthony, you here? I said, yeah. Why well, didn't you here? I didn't know you were here either. <laughs> <laughs> So awesome. everybody caught on and said, yeah, I know you. I see you on, on Red Vi uh, Viking Trucker uh, uh, um, uh, 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 videos there, YouTube videos. I said, yeah. <laughs> and uh, smart, people, they want, yeah, the small, small one, they wanted my autograph. They wanted my phone number. You know, can we call? I said, you can call me anytime. <laughs> call me. I, I even brought them in the truck, uh, Red, and showed them the interior of the truck, my refrigerator. I showed them all my supplies and all my supplements. They're like, man, you serious about this? I said, yeah, I don't play. Okay, oh, you, make, I, I get, you make yeah. it your home. You make it your home. Yeah. I make it my home, right? So I have all my little conveniences here, yeah. and and I take care of myself. All right. I'm going to piss know, that, a lot. Of, I'm going to piss a lot of people off on this next statement, but uh, what, I'm not that? sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. What's that, Red? I don't understand weak people, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't understand people that complain and everything's bad and oh woe is me. And listen, I got a uh, lawyer. I might be gone yeah. tomorrow, and I've all I'm doing is living my life the best I can, and I'm happy. I'm not happy about possibly dying and leaving no. this girl, but I'm happy. Yes. And that listen, takes listen, it. And that, even in trucking, people complain about trucking. I miss it, right. man. I miss yeah. not being out driving in different cities. I miss the oil field, not being out at the at the pad at two in the morning with wolves on the on the the mountain looking at me. I miss that. Listen, no. I, I told you, call me. Let's sit down and have a one-on-one, -on -one heart to heart here, all right? Because I'm telling you, I have information here that is that that is good for you, man. But you're not you're not taking me up on the offer. Well, here's what the I'm problem. Here's the yes. problem with that. You uh -huh. give me things to make my heart better, and then she breaks my heart with all the physical stuff she has me doing <laughs> in the cuddle <laughs> bar. Uh, don't wor don't worry, worry about it. Hey, hey I, I, I got help for you in that department too, brother. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need any help. <laughs> I got you, Red. I got you, brother. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, listen again. <laughs> for the, <laughs> for the, for, <laughs> Well, listen, man, for the folks that are yep. watching an hour later, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share the videos. Trucking right now, you want to get in those in those brands of trucking that electric trucks are not going to replace mm -hmm. or that no. the uh, autonomous trucks are not going to replace. And if you don't want to do the oil field, get in tanker and go do tanker. Get in doubles yeah. and triples, you know, whatever it takes to make the money during this. And whatever's coming is going to, it's going to affect all of us. And... If you're not one of the elite, it's going to affect all of us. So I'll just tell you, if you want to get with Anthony's company, Quality Carriers, the link's in the description. His contact info's in the description. When we get back to the CASA, I will put your email in that same description as well. I'll probably pin it to this top comment on this video as well. All right? Yes, no problem. Okay, man. Thank you for making the time, Anthony. And uh, you want to say anything? Any no, I just that, you know, it's, it's a brilliant life and you've, you know, like as a, as a woman that's already lost a husband and, and, you know, you've got heart failure, we don't have time to mess around. We ha enjoy every day. Every day is intentional and every day is a blessing because none of us are guaranteed anything, you know, and but that's you, how I look at life regardless, you know. Yes, but, you know, Hurricane, you got a great story. And you came from uh, not knowing anything about trucking. Your husband passed away, left you, uh, you know, alone with the dog. Okay. And, uh, you know, you know, you had to figure out, well, you know, you know, how I'm, you know, how I'm going to survive out here. And you did it. I did. I did. You did it. So if yeah. you could do it, no excuses. anybody could do it. Yes. Yes. Five uh, foot five, 125, man. She's a tiny little yeah. thing. She whips that truck like nobody's business. I remember <laughs> passing my test. It had only been like four months after I'd lost everything. And I right, just right. burst into tears with yes, excitement yes. and overwhelming because I couldn't believe I've accomplished something so great right. in such a, a, a crazy place. But anyway, so good. So good. She but, thought but she I, was going to be working at yes. Walmart as a greeter when she was I seven did. years old. I did. I thought I'd <laughs> well, clean up her, 
a broken down, you know, missionary out in the middle of nowhere greeting people oh, yes. for eight dollars an hour if I was lucky, you know. I uh, know. And figures, and listen, so. if you want it bad enough, you'll get it. When, yes. when I applied to get my class a license, I was working on midnight to eight o'clock shift in a warehouse in New Jersey. And uh, the classes was from eight o'clock in the morning, no, from seven in the morning until three in the evening. All right. No, from from uh, yeah, from eight till three. So the uh, I told the um, the instructor said, listen, I really want to do the program here, but I have a midnight to eight shift that I'm working. So I'll I'll get you half an hour late. He said, I'll wait for you, no problem. And I did that for I did sixteen hour days mm -hmm. from midnight till three the next day uh, for six weeks to get my license. So if I could do it, anybody could do it. Yes, yes. All right? So some, some days I'm not done myself and the instructor's giving me the elbow. Hey, yeah, listen, I know you're making a sacrifice, but you gotta keep you gotta do it with the eyes open. Let's close. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay? I always enjoy yes. talking to you, man. Thank you for doing the yes. interview with us. I hope yes, quality yes. carriers get some drivers. I hope you you help change some people's lives, brother. And I, I want you to have of, a good course, weekend, brother. all right? Yes, yes. Hey, and listen, reach out to me, man. Let's talk, man. I tell you, I'm, I'm telling you, I got I got stuff here for you, brother. <laughs> I, 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 I want to see you back on the road. What, what do you want to do? You want to come with us? Or you want to go into the oil field? What do you want to do? But you, you got, I, well, you listen, we're, we're way too premature for that conversation there, sir. No, but that's I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, listen, I'm telling you, the street's missing you, brother. The street's is calling, brother. Come on <laughs> up. Come on back up, brother. We're waiting well, for you. <laughs> we, luckily have, we, we luckily have access to a snuggle bunk, so I'm getting half the job done. All right, brother. Well, listen. <laughs> okay. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thanks for All right, taking buddy, the time. Take it easy. Yes, yes. Right. No problem. Anytime for you, brother. Take God it easy. bless, man. You guys be good. Right, Please see. subscribe, like, comment, and yes. share the videos. All right. Bye, Hurricane. Bye. <laughs> take care.